I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine, and we're talking with Hank Hofford with Bennett Hofford Construction. How you doing, Hank? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? Doing, doing fine. Thank you. I uh, want to also thank you for uh, inviting us out to this beautiful house here on Kiowa Island. Approximately, j- just kind of uh, give our listeners, viewers, and readers an idea where we are here on Kiowa Island. Well, we're on the backside of Kiowa on the Kiowa River uh, on Wretch Bluff, which is an island attached to Kiowa. Uh, It's actually where their settlers originally landed and used to load and unload uh, goods from the island. Uh, This is a lot that a couple out of Boston uh, fell in love with, uh, trees and location and dock. Uh, it was unfortunately the second lot they bought, so we had spent a year working with their architect uh, designing a home on another lot down the street, and they shifted gears, so the project took a little bit longer to get going, but uh, turned out uh, very well. Great, great. Well, um, h- approximately how many square feet is this is this house? I think we're looking at about 6,800 square feet in this home. Uh, there is an attached garage with a, a room above that uh, is set up for recreation purposes. Uh, you'll see that later. Uh, it's got about oh, maybe 1,600 square feet of uh, deck on the back with a, por- uh, with a swimming pool, a uh, lower patio, and then a dock out into the Kiowa River. Gotcha. We're going to go inside in just a second, but while we're out here, um, do you want to point out some of the the exterior features on, on uh, this beautiful custom home? Well, the architect is uh, John McDonald of McDonald and Morehouse out of Boston, and so it's got a little bit of that New England shingle style to it. Uh, it is a uh, grade A uh, cedar shingle exterior and then a cedar shingle roof. Uh, obviously, there's copper valleys and gutters and uh, water flash, waterproof flashing everywhere. Uh, the windows are a uh, impact resistant uh, by Southern Components, which is, I think, a Marvin product. Uh, so it's a very straightforward, kind of earthy, uh, blend into the woods uh, style and low maintenance. Uh, uh, I pay decking and mahogany railings. Mm-hmm. And uh, I understand that the house had to be built around uh, some of the trees out here, and uh, they had applied for a variance to to cut down some of those trees and got turned down. So tell tell that uh, story. Well, as we go through, you'll see the house uh, kind of winds and weaves around about five different oak trees are coming up through the decks and uh, over the roof from two directions and things like that, uh, which, you know, the owner were ha- was happy to do. It was very difficult for the architect and the builders to uh, bring it in here and, uh, you know, get it set up this way. But uh, Mead's Tree Service took care of the trees for us and kept them alive and healthy. And uh, uh, they were, they did apply for a variance. It was, not, it was rejected, so they had to uh, work with these trees, which which just took a little extra time and money. Mm-hmm. Good deal. Well, if it's okay, let's let's head on in and take a look at the interior. Let's go. Okay, now we're entering and got this amazing foyer that you uh, you've got kind of a barrel shaped uh, ceiling here and and uh, and Hank. Uh, when when the the homeowner is an absentee owner, homeowner and and uh, when she first saw this space, can you describe what what uh, what her reaction was? Well, the the owners travel quite a bit and they're very busy and uh, they ended up uh, only being able to visit a couple of times during construction, so they had not uh, really seen the home uh, in its finished state and they certainly hadn't seen it furnished. So. The uh, interior designer, uh, Molly Johnson, uh, who's actually originally from Charleston but lives up in Boston now, uh, had this thing set up with food in the refrigerator and wine in the wine racks and uh, lunch was ready for everybody. And I was lucky enough to be here when the owners came in to see it for the first time. And by the time uh, the owner uh, got uh, into the dining room, she literally had to sit down and uh, she was sobbing with joy. So it was a special moment to uh, get to share with them. And it was certainly rewarding for everybody who worked so hard on the home. And we were grateful to have the opportunity to participate in a project like this. This is just a stunning, uh, one of the nicest homes we'll ever get to build. And you just uh, told me something interesting off camera, Hank. You said that uh, that how, how great it is to work uh, to to build these kinds of homes, but uh, that and that you had built three or four hundred of these these kinds of homes over the years. What what uh, how, how is it that that uh, Bennett Hoffer Construction has been has been able to work with so many uh, of, of these type of clients? Well, you know, the easy answer is get up early and stay late, and it only takes 20 years to be an overnight success. <laughs> uh, but other than that, uh, we just work hard, and uh, we deliver a very high level of quality. Uh, we work six, seven days a week. My wife's about tired of that, but that just seems like it's part of the mode. 
um we grew up in charleston we started fixing up buildings in downtown and uh ventured out onto the sea islands as they became resorts and started building at wild dunes when it was first started and we've we've built on almost every island on the coast of south carolina we've built over 300 homes on kiowa island in particular uh so we were doing 10 to 20 homes a year and you know if you do that for 20 30 years all of a sudden you've built a lot of homes so defusky island uh, hilton head debadu sullivan's isle of palms folly uh, we've got you know a flag flying on each of those islands somewhere that's terrific well this is an, an amazing space can you kind of describe for our viewers readers and listeners what what we're looking at here well, this is obviously just the um, living room. Um, it's got a fireplace, obviously. Uh, the curved trim is intriguing, to say the least. Uh, all those beams were built by a millwork firm in Boston uh, that works with this architect. So they were built off-site uh, from shop drawings. And uh, luckily, we had done all the framing correctly, so they fit just right. Uh, so it was good coordination. Uh, the trim and the beams were all built and finished uh, and shipped. And then we installed them. Um, we did the same thing with the cabinetry. Uh, the flooring is a distressed walnut. Uh, there's walnut finishes on all of these paneling and a lot of doors. Uh, so the coordination of the finishes, you know, having uh, some of the work done five, six hundred miles away is uh, something that uh, requires some coordination. So you got to give credit to all of the craftsmen and uh, designers involved that they pulled it all together. Terrific. Well, let's uh, let's let's take a, a walk through and and have you show us the rest of the place here. So we've got these these beautiful little built-in spaces here. It's it's uh, you can always tell when an architect is, is involved because they always use. There's no no uh, wasted space. Well, there's a lot of curves and a lot of little nooks and crannies, and uh, you've got little bar you know a bar over here and a little seat over there and a trundle bed upstairs and little nooks and crannies for reading and watching TV and um, you know the kitchen and the dining is just a great flow for the home uh, they've obviously taken advantage of the view there's wonderful view a lot of shade um, and it might be that you just kind of walk through the house and st not follow me but just absorb the uh, different parts and the pieces there's literally three master bedrooms in this home uh, I think the owners uh, usually use the downstairs one but uh, the upstairs one is just as gorgeous and uh, impressive uh, every bathroom is different the tile selections and coordinations and detailing there um, there is a, uh, a, a a boys room above the garage that's uh, kind of I guess what you'd call a man cave these days so um, anyway um, <laughs> those are exciting you, I think you'll get a kick out of uh, looking at that one and then there's a deck up on the third floor that has a stunning uh, view of the river and the treetops and uh, there's a little uh, grill up there with the bar so uh, it's a pretty nice little spot to uh, vacation Good deal well let's continue on through tell us tell us about this uh, this amazing man cave. Well, I was jealous when I walked in here. I was like, oh my goodness. Uh, obviously, it's some nice, bright, strong colors. Uh, it's, uh, the owner is just thrilled with himself. Uh, he loves it here. Um, I've called him several times, and he was in his uh, room mm -hmm. watching uh, football. He's got a great little television set up, and the, obviously the pool table, and a uh, nice little kitchenette set up. And um, you know, he can pretty much uh, do anything he needs to uh, off of this spot. It's probably his office at home. That's great. Yeah, and um, and I and I see he's got lots of storage space with with all these beautiful window seats. As we're kind of seeing a trend with uh, a lot of uh, window seats throughout this this house. Well, again, uh, I told you that there's uh, certain architects that create something every time, and uh, Morehouse McDonald is one of those groups. Uh, we couldn't have been uh, have a fun time, funner time working with them. Uh, they are very thoughtful, very thorough. Uh, they're ahead of the curve. We hate chasing information uh, when we're building because it slows down the process. But those guys were on top of it the whole way through. You know, there's obviously other local Charleston architects that we work with that are similar. Chris Rose being one of them. So uh, Reggie Gibson and those types of guys uh, create things every time uh, they go out. So uh, other than that, you know, there's certain guys that just you know kind of shuffle off the papers and you never see them again mm -hmm. but uh, whatever the case um, we've enjoyed working with uh, this group on this house and uh, I hope to be able to do some more projects with them love all the nautical touches the uh, the, the light fixtures here and and the the old-fashioned uh, paddles here on the wall 
Interesting. Well, let's uh, head on to uh, to another room here. Why don't you go up and we'll cycle through. I don't know if you want to end up on the third floor deck. You know what I what I'm what I like about this place is it is it feels very comfortable, not yeah. not that not like uh, like a museum or something. Right, got a nice, uh, nice uh, full-size laundry room here that we just walked through with uh, with uh, twin washers and dryers, and then we've got a a little a little reading room space. I could definitely see. Another bathroom. And this is, uh, and that's interesting that you refer to them as guest masters because they they really are master suites in their own right. But uh, but this is not where the the owner is actually where their master bedroom is. I think the owner stays in the one below, um, and there's another owner's master on the on this floor as well that the architect thought the owner would stay in but it's funny how people gravitate to certain rooms and certain views but uh whatever the case this one's got views of the river and the porch and the backyard and the deck and the oak trees and uh it's just a very pleasant place to be that obviously there's a lot of nice artwork in this home uh somebody spent a lot of time and effort uh, you know selecting all of that stuff and coordinating it so let's get it take a look at uh, get a shot of uh one of the trees out here i see the uh, the the deck was built around um one of those trees near the the pool and that's a that's a good example of what we were talking about earlier how uh it was it, it was not allowed to to uh the owners were not allowed to um take down any of these trees was that uh was that a particular challenge for for you folks well, you know, getting foundations in and bridging over uh, some of those roots was something important. Uh, again, we had Mead's tree service in here. Uh, had them work on the trees before we started so we didn't break anything. Uh, had them give us some guidance uh, as we worked around them. And then uh, they, you know, trimmed them up and fertilized them. And I think these trees will be happy for a long, long time. Good deal. Let's take a peek at the, uh, at the bathroom adjoining this guest master suite here on the second floor. Got a full size shower, a double vanity. Very nice, very beautiful, and uh, you you can definitely tell that a uh, that an interior designer was was involved. Another one of those window seats. You could could definitely see someone taking a nice little nap there here in the summertime. Uh, but what's interesting uh, in in these bathrooms that we're seeing. Uh, they didn't just pick one particular style of tile and, and repeated it throughout the bathrooms. Every bathroom is, is different, isn't it? Every bathroom has its own theme, and uh, they vary dramatically, in all honesty. Uh, here's a little powder room that's uh, got a very interesting floor. Um, there's some larger patterns and uh, different wall tiles and showers, and uh, some of them are marble and tile and whatever. Mm -hmm. Might want to go upstairs and check out this third floor deck. Here. Yeah, this is an amazing spiral staircase. Leading up to a, to a private outdoor deck area. Very nice. Nice sun deck out here where the homeowners can well, you know, enjoy our beautiful South Carolina weather. Hey, but you know, springtime and fall, and even you know, in the middle of the winter, it's pretty pleasant in South Carolina. So I know they sit up here and enjoy the views and uh, Kiowa River, and the kids out there playing in the pool and maybe having a drink and cooking something on the grill. So. Um, well, it's a pretty pretty shaded there. sure it's it's a pretty shaded lot also so it's nice to have a sun deck like this where they can actually get some catch some rays well you know you've got trees coming in at you from about three different sides and i'm sure there's some birds uh you know that like to flit about and so uh if you sit nice and quiet you can sit here and watch some of the birds come and go uh -huh. beautiful amazing space okay well let's uh let's head on down as we continue our tour of this this beautiful Keough Island home that was uh, built by Bennett Hofford Construction. And now we're continuing our tour. We're heading down. Uh, if you would have come up from the front door, you would have come up these stairs. Uh, this is some of the children's uh, 
Uh, sorry, this is the children's bedroom. Uh, it's got a game table and some bunk beds and some trundle beds and another couple of window seats here and there. Um, this seems to function very well. I think they're real happy with uh, the way this has worked out. And then there's another master bedroom at the end of this hallway uh, we can go look at after you. Yeah, let's let's take a peek inside the uh, the bathroom here too, since uh, since every bathroom is is different. And this was built kids proof. Kid proof. Kid proof. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. And they've got a nice little game table to. A little bit of a nautical theme uh, mm -hmm. to it. Definitely. The, uh, the the built-in bunk beds that definitely goes with uh, all those window seats that you see throughout. And I like how we're we're kind of going up to a different different level, but uh, you another know. Another master bathroom here, and this is a stunning room uh, with the uh, structure of the roof framing showing uh, in a nice way. Uh, we always enjoy showing the structures uh, of things, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously, there's a wonderful fireplace here. Again, some window seats, um, wonderful bed, uh, plenty of room to sit, and uh, walk in closets and all that kind of stuff. So, I think this is the guest master. <laughs> <laughs> and these, we've got a couple of closets on either side here. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, this is, and, and all the views from the windows are just amazing. They are. Well, this is obviously why they bought the lot. Um, they shifted gears after having spent a good bit of time designing a home for a different lot. Uh, so this one just moved them, and I think they couldn't be happier. That you know, it was, I tell everybody, make the mistakes on paper. Yeah. You know, uh, it's better to throw away a set of plans and start over than to get in the middle of something and regret that you started it. Right, right. Make those changes in the design phase rather than having to tear down walls, right? Or start over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's head on downstairs and again just a, a uh, all of the different uh, types of tile that they they that the interior designer had to pick out for for the the numerous bathrooms throughout and uh, now we're heading on downstairs this is the the main front stair. the main staircase Let's take you back to the great room and the dining room don't know if you want to the master of a right instead of a left, so work our way down this way if you like. Yeah. I don't know if you were able to um, cover the kitchen at all, but granite, obviously granite countertops, mm -hmm. and um, these cabinets were made up in Boston. Um, I think Five Points was the company, and a, uh, some installers came down, and uh, I think the appliances came locally. There's a little bit of a home office reading room off of the master. And then uh, this is the master master. Uh, it's just a nice little coffered ceiling. Um, great views of the river, the back deck, the swimming pool. You know, this kind of a the light color, cool uh, walls uh, just make the room feel light, you know. Very beachy. You definitely feel like you're at the beach when you... Uh when you're in this room and I'm sure that's something they that the owners definitely want to experience when they when they visit their home here on Kiwa Island you got it and I think they come down here quite a bit uh, whenever they get a chance I call these permanent second homes mm -hmm. uh, they spend a lot of time here then the family might come for the summer even while the husband's traveling around and working and he'll just come and go out of Charleston instead of Boston uh, they come down for Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, Easter type things, so it becomes a family tradition. And they're able to accommodate extended family members, you know, their parents, grandparents, whatever it all is. So um, it's just a f nice way for people to uh, come visit Charleston and uh, have a place to stay. Oh, yeah, you build a, ha build a house like this, you're definitely going to have lots of uh, company. Well, let's take a look at that, uh, the master, master bathroom. And again, this is just it's, it's very opulent, but not over the top. I mean, it just it feels very comfortable. Very well thought out, very comfortable, nice shower tub, uh, interesting floors, um, you know, nice trim, pretty big mirror there, and, uh, you know, plenty of nice light. Uh, orchids growing in the corner, and what else do you need? That's right. That's right. Beautiful, beautiful. 
go on the back deck. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's uh, let's head out the uh, the door off of the the master master bat bedroom, and as if they were walking out here, and just steps away, they've got this beautiful swimming pool. Pool here. is heated with a um, geo, uh, not a geo, um, um, a heat pump, mm -hmm. uh, and so they can use it year round. Um, I think they've had uh, egrets and herons uh, stop by and <laughs> wait for a minute to drive by that never did. Uh -huh. uh, but anyway, uh, the deck is cool here. It's 90 degrees outside, and it's feeling pretty comfortable uh, under the shade of these oak trees. So. Uh -huh. Uh, I think they enjoy it quite a bit. You know, the outdoor fireplace is a kind of a special little feature uh, in the fall and winter. You can sit out here and have a Yeah, let's, let's head on over and take a closer look at that. That's interesting. They, it looks like they took a, uh, um, an old uh, timber and uh, repurposed it as a, uh, as a mantle here. Yeah, we do that a lot. That one's not uh, one of our old heart pine beams. That's probably from Boston. But, uh, you know, it's a distressed beam from an old building, and uh, we've taken a lot of old heart pine floor joists and uh, things like that. They kind of look good and give you a little historic feel to it. Beautiful. So you got the nice uh, outdoor fireplace to enjoy and plenty of, uh, of seating out here on the, on the deck for, for their guests. And this yeah, I think they got some little kids that love playing here. So a little, couple little different seating areas. You got the grill over there, and you know you can slip around the corner and uh, have some peace and quiet, or go up on the t upper deck and uh, escape. So um, obviously there's a dock with a boat, and I'm sure they jump out there and, uh, and take a spin every once in a while. And um, it just uh, is life in South Carolina. That's why people are drawn here. Yeah, and and you know whenever uh, you come to a to a spot like this here around the Low Country. And the, you're, you're struck by the silence. You don't hear any cars. You don't hear any traffic nearby or anything like that. Bugs in the trees and every once in a while some birds swinging by. Maybe a mosquito buzz you hear every once in a while. And when you do hear a bird, it's, it, it actually sounds very loud. Uh -huh. Well, they're, 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 I guess, looking for uh, their buddies. But um, it's always interesting. And uh, my wife and I live on Edisto Island, and uh, we see more birds and deer and raccoons than we see people. Uh -huh. So uh, it's always fun every morning to see what's up and about. Great, and I, I see they've got another lower level uh, space, outdoor space down here as well. And this is the kind of place, um, the kind of house that you you could uh, easily escape to a to a, a room or or an, a spot in the house, and if you wanted to be all by yourself. Well, you know, obviously the architect was a master of it, his craft, but uh, having to work around the various trees kind of forced the parts and pieces of the house to be uh, in different pods and connected. Uh, and so you do end up with the section over here and a section over there and a section over here that's uh, separated. So uh, you could probably accommodate quite a few people here uh, if you wanted to. I should mention that Three Oaks um, did all of the uh, landscaping um, work here. I, see, I think I see a mosquito misting system down here as well, so, uh, so they're able to enjoy this outdoor space without getting eaten up by the noceums and mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> folks up north don't like the mosquitoes too good. <laughs> Our state bird. Right. Yeah, you got it. All right. Well, let's head back inside and uh, and we'll f we'll finish up our tour. Well, Hank, this is an amazing house, and and this is is a, a good reflection of what Bennett Hoffer Construction can can do for customers. Well, you know, we're good at what we do. We've been doing it for a long time, and we started digging ditches and uh, framing houses, so we've uh, done the work ourselves with our own hands. I do have to mention uh, Scott Marone and Terry Midler and Russell Fortberry as being the management team from our company that uh, built this home, and, and that's why it's done so well. Um, Bennett Hoffer Construction has been around since 1983. Uh, we've probably renovated 70 buildings in downtown Charleston, the Rice Mill Building and the Old Citadel and Charleston Music Hall and things like that. Built numerous restaurants, Rudy John and Coast, among others. Uh, we built over 300 homes on Kiowa and on the other islands in this area. We're now looking at Daniel Island, so uh, we think there's a market there for us. But uh, Poplar Grove is another project that we're involved with, and I uh, think it's got a very uh, eco-friendly footprint. Uh, we just finished a barn out there that's um, truly stunning, and uh, I think everybody should look at that. And uh, anyway, uh, we're located in the Rice Mill Building in downtown Charleston, uh, 7228169. Uh, my extension is 224. Give me and a that's call. That's area code 843. And how about a website? Uh, BennettHoffordConstruction.com. 
BennettHofferConstruction.com. All right. Well, we have been talking with Hank Hofford with Bennett Hofford Construction uh, out here on Kiwa Island behind the second gate, a very exclusive area of Kiwa Island as uh, we, we've been touring this beautiful, beautiful custom home built by Bennett Hofford Construction. Thanks so much, Hank. Thank you very much.